And the name? The name is Angelo. Michel Angelo. Angelo. Oh, well, let me just remember. You know, I'm a musician, and I've shamefully neglected my music lately. I'm a star to them. Oh, you have a piano? Oh, that's good. I'm lucky. Everyone says it's a very good one, sir. We've been lucky to keep it. in a public call box. Ha-ha! Call box? Yes, in your district. What time, Joe? Well, it must have been just before you went off duty. Oh. What's up, lady? Nothing, I mean. I think I must have heard it. Heard it? Heard what? A woman scream. Oh. Yeah, baby. 
Thank you. You tell me what you know. Are you going to tell me what you know? I can't now. Oh, don't be silly. What did you hear? Come on. Come on, out with it. Let me go, Joe. What did you hear? Something only. What? I had a speech from a public call box. I thought it might be some children playing. They do sometimes. What did you do? Reported it to the supervisor. Hello. Hello. Number, please, so I should think. Luggage, 4,000. Love it, 4,000. Have you got cloth ears? You do love your time on the switch. Oh, oh, I... Hello, hello. Hello, who am I? I mean, who are you? Come off it. Well, why couldn't you say so? Mr. Mitchell, please. Hello, hello. Is that you, Bob? Listen, April. Ah, but it's not your own. Listen, take this down, Snappy. Red Hot Avenger story. Have just seen girl who heard victim scream from public call box. Joe! Yeah. Shut up! From public call. Public... From public call box. Yes. Yes. Here you are. He, you, Bunting. Oh, Bunting. Where does she live? At 12A Lytton Road, uh, with her parents, Mr. and Mrs. George Bunting. Yeah. Got it? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 Yeah, right. Coming back now. Thanks very much. Oh, that takes a biscuit. What is it, Mitchell? Thank you. That's the development of some group of marks, yes? It can be with her. I had the call box by one of the girls on his game. Good for it, the horror of the country. The horror of the things that you saw. You saw them in fact? Yes, Martin wouldn't sit up on there. Nice for it, good one. By the way, you get a photograph of the telephone girl? Thanks, sir. Really? You haven't touched it, sir. No, Mrs. Bunning, I don't feel very hungry this morning. These murders, is there a, a great feeling about them? Feeling? I should seem very absurd. Don't be a beast. Or to be torn to pieces, whoever he is. Beast, you call him? I should say so, sir. Think of all those innocent girls. But how do you know that he too is not innocent? That all these crimes are just a madness. The beast that is in all of us coming to the surface. How do you know that he knows what he does? Of course, we know he must be out of his mind, sir. All the more reason why he should be cut up and put out of his misery. Put out of his misery. Yes. That is what should be done. What's that? As his young man. Me and Mr. Bunting are very annoyed with him at the moment. He's responsible for that. Drag him baby, is it? You've got to give evidence. Evidence? Yes. Oh, Mrs. Bunting, could you tell me something? Yes, sir. When foreigners arrive in London, is there any special district that they would choose to live in? You know as there is, sir. It all depends on where they arrive. If it was Euston, there'd be the Euston Road. If it was Paddington, it might be round about here somewhere. Round about here? Oh, Mrs. Bunty, would you mind removing these uh, ladies? I'm used to bare walls, you know. Their eyes seem to follow me about. Don't you like them, sir? Not much. Oh, sorry. I thought they liked them to play not a bit. Oh, well, if you wish, sir, I thought you'd have to give it a go. I haven't been away.
Well, you see, Miss. Nothing yet, Pablo. Nothing now, yet. tell me, when did you first realize that what you overheard might have some connection with the crime we are investigating? I reported it to the supervisor. And although I shouldn't have done it, I tell my friend who's in charge of the newspaper. Well, he telephoned his office. And that made my father very angry. Of course, your father to be angry. What cause? Oh, it's always been showing what cause. How would he like to be dragged into a mix up like this? Silence, sir. You cannot be heard. I'll be heard. What do you mean, Clara? I was saying. You sir. are out of order. Out of order? Oh, I'm just as healthy as a bunch of Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Pardon me, sir. I understood I was to speak what was in my mind. Well, what is in your mind? Nothing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Please to continue your evidence. Well, you see, we let a part. So you let a part. And what's wrong with that? You might come down to it yourself one day, you know. One more word out of you, sir, and I'll have you turned out of court. Sit down, sit down. Now. Well, you see, we live apart, and my father and mother always get the house very respectable. And they were afraid if we got mixed up in a case like this, well, the lodge you might have guessed. Silence in court! Right. Well, I, I don't think we need trouble you any further. At the moment. Thank you. This is Lizzie Cole. <laughs> certainly, certainly. Uh, let him be sworn. Yes, I might have joined the evidence of such abuse shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now, this is the most important witness, gentlemen. Monsieur Silvano, the state criminologist of the government of Bosnia. Monsieur Silvano believes that he has established the identity of the criminal as that of a notorious homicidal maniac who escaped from the state asylum at Zagreb some months ago. I state the case, Monsieur. Well, slightly. If my deductions are correct, the avenger is none other than Stefan Kovilic, who was responsible for a series of similar crimes in my own country. Perhaps you will be good enough to tell the jury what you know of this man. Yes, I need. Stefan Obelic comes of respectable bourgeois, or what you call uh, middle-class family. His father is the conductor of the state orchestra, and Stefan himself is a very talented musician. He married, but it caused great unhappiness to himself. His wife deserted him in a very disgraceful manner, and this apparently unhinged the poor young man's brain. Therefore, his uh, inveterate animosity against all women. Fair, I don't know why he doesn't like them. Something to do with his disliking women, I suppose. He admits himself as a bit able to sense his life. Did you come back? Yes. Don't you hear
I was listening. Why do you stay outside and listen? Well, I don't like to bother you. Oh, it's no bother, I assure you. Very nice to have someone to talk to. London is a very lonely place. You were home early? Yes. I came straight home from that horrid inquest. I saw you there. Whatever made you go? Oh, it's interesting, you know. The beginning of the chain. All the bloodhounds straining to leash. <laughs> Very amusing. Not quite so amusing to the wretched hunted creatures skulking and hiding somewhere. But where? Where? Fancy you feeling like that about it. Yes, it's foolish, isn't it? But you know, I cannot help placing myself in the same position as he is, whoever he is. Oh, but uh, don't let's talk about things like that and think about them at all. You come here to listen to music and we talk of murder. What a silly word. The next time we will talk about less gloomy things. You know, sunshine, flowers, music perhaps. Sweet, innocent things. It would be a bit more cheerful, wouldn't it? Now, don't forget, the next time you come to listen, don't stay outside. I Daisy talking to the water again. Where? On the landing outside his room. Playing this morning, the shaving water you took him up wasn't hot. Shaving water? This is early morning cup of tea. Boy, talking to Mr. Angelo. So. I say so. But me, sir, never mind. A gentleman's a gentleman. He was probably on the part of the time of day. Oh, very interesting man. Oh, is he? Oh, well, on second thoughts, I think you better sleep with your mother downstairs, and I'll have your room. Oh, ridiculous. Ridiculous father. nothing. I've been a lodger myself. He sounds all right. Oh, he is. Mother likes him, too. Can he speak English well? How do you do? Hello. <laughs> You're very brave to be sitting in the park at this time of year. But we're just having our lunch. <coughs> Miss Kim's my friend. How do you do? I expect it's the last of the summer we'll get this year. Hmm. Better than sitting in the stuff is happy. Well, I suppose I'd better be pushing off. Don't be late on the switch, you. Oh, don't go, Jeff. Now, I've got to see a girl about a cat. Goodbye. Honey, we were talking about you when you came along. About me? What were you saying? All the usual things. Trying to describe you. And how did you describe me? Well, different somehow. Different what? Different in what way? Oh, you know. You can see us. 
Nothing much to look forward to. Well, what have I to look forward to? Well, everything. You've seen the world, you can go where you want to. I believe she's a kind of attractive fellow whom girls like. He leads them on a bit, and when he gets them alone, he slips them up while the police are looking for an escape lunatic. I interest you as a man. Of course you do. I suppose you're different. No, no, it's you who are different. You are young and kind. You know, those two things do not always go together. Would it bore you very much? Need my room sometimes. You know, it should help to take my mind off things. What sort of thing? Oh, I cannot tell you that. Ever. I hate to see you sad. Oh, but I'm not sad when I'm with you. No, I'm so sad. <laughs> I can't think why you came to England. Well, you see, I was very unhappy in my own country. And then my parents suffered a very great grief. Well, I thought it was just to get away from all that sort of thing. You don't think that these things do? No. Oh, I knew you didn't know anything about it. Just now you said I did. I didn't. I asked him to do it. Really? Then I thought it was a silly question I'd ask. Did it? Oh, who was it saying that the two bones to buy it with? You know, I think he must have been very sad when he wrote that. Oh, what is this? I think someone else is very sad. Does music make him sad? It's not so. It's... Oh, everything. Get fond of people and things, and suddenly they go away. It's all finished. What do you mean? Don't you know what I mean? Of course I do. Listen. If things had been different, there might have been something very beautiful, very happy for you and me. But. Oh, don't, don't, please, don't look at me. Oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't you know that I'm longing to take you in my arms? Don't you know that in all this silly world there is only one who interests me, and that is you? Then you do. Oh, no, forget what I said. I've no right. But no, I don't like that in that chair with him. Get him off, Eddie. You'll get a shot. Well, if you know so much about it, come and do it yourself. Oh, all right. Oh, oh. Mind your head! Wait, you're a bit late, aren't you? Please, go away from me. Stay away from me. Don't ever be alone with me. Don't say things like that. You've been so kind of sweet. No. No. Don't be unhappy, please. Oh, please don't be unhappy. I can't bear it. A, that is better than... It's something frightening me, isn't it? Yes. Something that you can't tell me. So I'm going to tell you something. I don't care what it is. Why, right, you can tell me. I don't want to know. I only want you to feel that... I just don't care what it is. Whatever you are, whatever you've done, I don't care. It makes no difference. I trust you. Really, I do. You trust me. And whatever I've done, whatever you may find out, you won't change. Never. Oh, 
Why should I try something that is too strong for you? Hello, Mr. Bunting. Daisy Allen? Yes. Oh, what's up with the lights? Oh, the missus has gotten used them. Where's your fuse box? I'll fix it. Down the kitchen. Hello, Mark. What you been doing with the light? That darkness suddenly frightened you, didn't it? Not really. Oh, I'm so happy. You've changed everything for me so much. I know there's a market point for tomorrow. We might go to that, and then, and then we could walk back through the farm. Oh, I love you. Quite right. Yes. Yeah. There you are. Wonderful, isn't he, Mark? I only wish I'd been brought up to a trade. Have you had your job? No, for now. What with this taxation, nobody wants a butler nowadays. Oh, well, you're quite handy, man, Joe. No, I wish my boss thought as much of me as you two do. Oh, sorry. You know, I believe the police are on the wrong tack about these murders. They're working on the theory that it's a foreign. They've issued a description of the wanted man. Oh, what's it supposed to be like, Joe? What's this supposed to be like? Hello, you here again? Yes, Daisy. I thought perhaps you'd like to come round to the... Sorry, I'm stuck. I've got to be glad with me, though. What? What's up with Daisy lately? Oh, she seems too much less for Angelo. Who's it? Very nice gentleman from the continent. I hate foreigners. Yes, Daisy. 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 Well, Mrs. Bunting? I was just coming up to see where your supper's at. Yes, yes, I've been in. You're never going out in a nice little place. There's a the fog, there's something awful. You can't see the yard here, do The world does not affect me at all, Mrs. Bunting. It's very nice of you to be so concerned about my mood. But I like to be left alone. And I cannot stay in this house if I am watched and uh, spied on. Nobody's spying on you, sir. I've done the best to satisfy you, sir. Yes, I'm sure you have. I'm, I'm sorry. I, please, forget what I said. Good night. Looking at Ellen. George, he's gone out. He's a nasty word, not like this. Well, it's no business of ours. Oh, no. Nobody'd go out unless they had something special to go out for. Same as I have. Where are you going to? Just around the corner. What for? Oh, get me in paper. Now look sharp back. I don't. Don't be long, George. Put on your muffler and coat. No, no. Someone's 
What is use the telephone, Mark? Hello, hello. Uh, luggage, 4,000. In an hour, don't you? Right oh, on. yes, I saw going to Lido with Dad, and on the way back I ran into this thing. Uh, uh, Miss, Mr. Mitchell, Joe Martin here. Hey, what's that? Oh. Uh, that's you, Bob, Joe here. Yeah? Got a pencil? Ha <laughs> but it's not your own. Listen, just left scene of New Avenger murder, oh. just inside Park Gate. Oh. Well-dressed woman wearing white fur, gash across throat, head almost severed. Ah, uh, I was the first press man on the spot. And when I got there, I found the wound, still oozing blood. Woman not yet identified. Got all that? Snap it in, Bob, before the others get it. What's all the fuss about? Can you make it a special lunch edition? Good. Yeah. So long. Mm, Mr. B. The most horrible sight I've ever seen. Just around the corner this time. Haven't you all been upset? Poor journalists, are you going to be? Oh, this wasn't like anything I've ever seen before. You see, this time I was one of the first there. Oh, this fairly made me sick. It was awful. What you really did? Oh, don't talk about it. What do you look like, John? Oh, her, her throat has slipped from ear to ear. <laughs> What's up, Mark? Again, the police could find no clue. Nine million people in London at the mercy of some phantom thief. Phantom thief. Put that down. He's like the vampires of southern Europe who used to suck the blood of their victims in the graveyard by night and never could be seen by day. The police have brought a bit of it to England, sir. So I hear. Chief of police from Zagreb. By dad, it beats me. Well, I must get out of the house. See that Joe Martin's on the scene of the crime first thing tomorrow morning. Who belongs to you? I wish we had here our criminologist. I'll arrange you to see the body at the mortuary. I should like that very much. Excuse me, Mr. Rubin. Not you wrong. I'm the special representative of the Evening Sun. Now, I wonder if you will give me your latest opinion now that you... No, are... I have nothing to say. But the English public will be very interested in anything that you might be able to... I cannot speak. But your English is very good. Uh, Constable. Constable. Will you move away, please? No, I shan't tell you again. I don't think I should let you go to work today. Oh, you wouldn't get to the sack, would you? It is such a silly thing to be doing all day, talking to hundreds of people you don't know. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. Oh, by the way, what will your young man say if you're going to this concert tonight? Won't he object? I don't care if he does. Anyway, he's much keen on his job than he's on me. He is, and he's very, very stupid. Morning, Mr. B. Can I use your phone again? Oh, we're not a telephone exchange, you know. Oh, I don't know yet, sir. See the latest edition? Anything fresh? No. Luggage, 4,000. I can't get a word out of him anyway. Oh. Uh, Chief of Police is out there. What? Well, they brought him over, haven't they? Mm. Hello, Mr. Mitchell, please. Hello, is that you, Bob? Got a pencil? When interviewed this morning, Mr. Rabinovich told our representative, with the utmost certainty, that in his opinion, it would merely be a matter of hours before the murderer was arrested. You know, I feel very guilty about persuading you to come without your mother's wishes. But you'll enjoy it. I know I shall. I don't know how many mother can know, I don't know if you have the picture. She wants to be bothered about a harmless concert. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, right. Oh. 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 Oh.
woman was wearing a white fox fur. That girl's crazy. The body was found within 50 yards of the park gate. I can't do anything with her lately. It was estimated that the crime was committed within three minutes of the finding of the body. I don't think they have any influence. Not by the police, a man who may want to question in connection with these atrocities. She's not gone on that chap upstairs by any chance. Aged approximately 30, slight build, height 5 foot 10. Complexion dark, clean shaven, a foreign appearance. Sometimes carries black bags that are used for holding musical instruments. Real name Stephen Obelisk, but probably using an alias. Read that again, Bunting. Yes, sir. Read it again. <laughs> you know, I heard uh, the Stravinsky name that he said that he talked about the mystery in the foundation of all this. <laughs> <laughs> And then you lean over the edge of a boat and you can, you can pick the stars out of the water. That's been a lot of use tonight. What, this? You haven't even opened it. No. But you know, sometimes I like to follow the with the stars. And sometimes I like to follow the stars. Have you ever seen these letters? But for me, the spirit of the comparison the 50s. Oh, but much the best. Oh, this makes me feel a very rich man. Why? Well, being allowed to wander in all these beautiful parks that were built by kings for their ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now they belong to the people. To lovers who have no place, no palaces where they may sit and talk. I'm sorry we can't give you a palace. We try to make you comfortable, though. Oh, comfortable? <laughs> That's not it. Your mother seems to hate me to talk to you now. I think what's happened to Daisy? She's late. I've never had her either. No, just clear it. George, you've had enough. No, more. It's only the bottom of the bottle. It's nice to get up from the strand and I'll draw my phone. Ah, we should have heard her come in. Don't see. She's coming. Oh, I should. Don't hope yet. What do you mean? Oh, nothing, George. What's up? She'll be enough. And she's be that man. What did you say? That's an old German song, meaning still as the night, deep as the sea. Jordan Stein, leave the sign. That means, so shall my love be for you. You like that song? I put it as well. When did it drop it in the back? Oh, no. I like the fog. You like the fog? Yes, it's strange. One can feel alone. Hear the stillness. Oh, I love the night. One can escape from oneself. I thought you'd come home this way. What do you think you're doing? Oh, it's you. Life is full of pleasant surprises. I wasn't talking to you. No? I couldn't believe that you were talking to an English lady like that. Oh, shut up. Last thing, foreigner. Joe! What do you think you are, talking like that? You're coming home with me. Oh, no, I'm not. Mr. Angelo's taking me home. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. What's he got to do with you, I'd <laughs> like to know? Joe, I think you'd better go with him. After all, he'll treat you just like a brother. Oh, well, if you put it like that. Good night. Good night. And try to dream of the fifth symptom. 
Get back to your own country. Not yet. You've been. Oh, we've been that worried to know what has happened to you. Oh, you ought to know better than to keep out at this time of night. You're lucky to have back at all. Good night, Mrs. Dudley. You know, there are so many suspicious characters about him. I recognize it. Much, Joseph. Dirty night, sir. Yeah. I've been wondering about your past, and I nearly got lost. What's your handkerchief, sir? Mine? Um, oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. That you, George? Yes, yes. Is that the lodge that came in with you? Yes. George! Like it, 4,000. Are you certain, Mr. Bunting? Hiding his face, was he? He dropped his handkerchief and you picked it up. Yes. My hand was soaked with blood. Your hand was soaked in blood. His hand was soaked in blood. They're officers from Scotland Yard. What's your name? George Bunting. You have a lodger here known as Stefan Oberlich, called Angelo. Yes. Is he upstairs? Yes. Right. Back door, front door. You stay here. Uh, Show us his room. Come along. from Scotland Yard. I have a warrant for your arrest on a charge of willful murder. Murder? I warn you that anything you say will be taken down in writing and may be used in evidence. But what have I murdered? You'll find out about that at the station. Oh. Come along. Okay. Be
Good. Okay. Special edition. Very good, sir. Hello there. Number, please. Number, please. 
You, you look like... I'm sorry. Michel. 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 That's why. 
to I had to I had to come here and see you. Try to find me before they hurt me. They can't hurt you now. They can't hurt you now. 